It's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So let's talk about seasons and how they actually manifest in our lives outside of just the weather. I mean, we all understand that there are seasons of growing and there are seasons of planting, but there's also a season where you reflect on what exactly your next goal or motivation in life should be. And for me, this is that time of the year. Typically, I am the person who assesses where I am and what I'm doing around my birthday. So I am always conscious of if God has granted me one more year, what have I actually done in the prior year to get me closer to my goal or to pull me further away? Can I subject you to thinking about have you actually assessed or determined the time of the year that you assess when you can see what exactly the seasons that have passed and the season that you're in to transpire into what it is that you're trying to do. Now, again, some of us assess it during our birthday. Some of us are New Year people. So the moment you see January, you start to say, you know what, I'm gonna do something different in this season of my life. I've reflected off what I've done in the past and now I wanna do something different. It could be by means of job, relationship, health, uh, financial investment, plethora of things. What scares me are the people who do not take the time to actually assess what season you're in and what season is next in your life. Now, again, like I said, my birthday is coming up and I am definitely assessing what exactly it is that I want to do, what I have done, and what can I do to better my journey towards where I'm trying to go. I hope today that wherever you are, you take the time to just check the season and identify the season and make a change. Some of us are fortunate to literally say, you know what, Proceed, I've done great. This is a great time for me and I'm just gonna ride this out. For those people, I'd say no matter what, just survive it, right? The key is, is to just get through whatever it is that you are going through in that particular season. And some seasons don't require any change whatsoever. And that's fine too. Again, the only time that I think it's complicated for us to do well is to not assess every so often where we are and what season that we're in. So you're gonna hear me continuously say, assessing and season in this video because I think it is absolutely important. Now you may not, and that is fine, but I would still propose to you that it's always nice to know. Even our GPS requires us to put in a starting point and an ending point. You can't put in your GPS, your end address without telling your GPS where you're coming from. Now, sometimes it's so smart that it'll actually just assess where you're from, from this thing called current location on your GPS, but we still understand that knowing where you are gives us better direction and insight on what's the best route to get where we're going. So today, let's just affirm. We're going to take the time to assess. We're gonna understand the season and the seasons that we're in. We're going to make better judgment calls on when to assess and what's best for us in our assessment. Now, keep in mind, everything cannot stay. I just heard a really good word and the word was simple, everything must go. When you see those words, everything must go, you instantaneously identify that there's going to be a benefit for you. If you saw it in a store window, you would say, it's gonna be a good sale. I've been waiting on some items from this particular store. If everything must go, then this is a time for me to go in and actually assess it. And sometimes you think that the benefit is just to you. But truthfully, when a business does that, it is because they are changing their inventory. So what is good for you is also a downside for them because they need to make room for their new inventory. And if I say to you today, what exactly needs to go in order for your season to shift and change or what exactly needs to stay, the question for me remains, could you answer that? So let's just think about that today. Have a little meditation, nice, short, sweet video, just to think about exactly what it is that you want, where you are, and how you're going to put in a better route or route for yourself to get to where you're trying to go. You guys are always awesome. I thank you so much for your support. 
I thank you for subscribing and commenting and sharing. Please keep that going. Again, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to stop and think about your direction and your season. I greatly appreciate your time. And I just propose nothing more but doing three things in life to always make your everyday living better. And that is to live your life authentic. Have a blessed day.